Good afternoon, good afternoon, good afternoon. Who's excited about digital human avatars? Not sure what they are yet. Let's try, let's try that again. Okay, who's excited about digital human avatars? All right, by the end of this, it'll be even better. And if you're, if you're, when you are a great class, what we're going to do at the end is we're going to fly an AI drone and do a little dance together. Is that okay? Okay, seven of you were cool with that. The rest of you were like, I'm not sure yet. But I'm, okay. I will teach you and I'll tell you where I got it. Okay? So digital human avatars. I'm going to get started with an introduction by a digital human avatar. Right, we can talk about it, we could be about it. So I'm showing you, as we go, I'm going to show you many different ways that we can use digital human avatars in the classroom, whether you're doing asynchronous, synchronous, whether you're communicating with students on a regular basis, which I'm sure you are, whether you're a regulator, whether you're a school owner, whether you're an inspiring educator like myself, right, inspiring action with your students. It's the future, and that's why when we name this the future of real estate education, like are there new and shiny things all the time that we go after? Trust me, I'm, right, my wife has me with a frivolous spending budget on things that I buy. I'm like, this is the next thing, I swear. But she's like, you're over budget already this month. You can't, can't buy that. Okay, so our, uh, a little bit about me. If you don't know, I do love technology. I'm not a nerd. When people ask me how things work, I say they work great. Okay, oh, it works great. So I'm going to give you some tools today. I'll give you the websites. Uh, but more so, conceptually, I want you to be thinking in your head, like, how can we actually use this? Right, because I know I've been to conferences just like you. Right? I get all these notes. I'm like, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. And what do you do? You go home, you take those notes, you put them on the shelf with the rest of the notes, and you don't take action. Right? I'd rather see you next year and go, Jay, I'm using digital human avatars like crazy. It's changed my life, changed my business. Okay? Now, I have won numerous awards. None of you care about that. Um, I have certifications and designations, just like many of you. Who cares? What you need to know is, like, I'm here to make a difference in your lives. Period. Okay? And to do that, I want you to really, you know, people, it was in our session earlier, what do you do and what do you teach? For me, I help people overcome their fears and grow their business by being their true, authentic selves. Right? It's not, do I teach social media? Yeah, video, yeah, but I'm helping you overcome your fears. And today, it's overcoming your fears with AI. Now, All of these people that are waving to you are not real. Yeah, I don't know if you heard, there, there was a big uh, case in, in uh, I'm making this up, the details, but it, it is a true story. Uh, <laughs> it, was in, it was in China on a Zoom call where everybody on the Zoom call was a digital human avatar and they convinced the CFO to send millions of dollars. Digital clones. Every single person, the CEO was on there. Every, every other person was a, a clone, a digital human avatar. Now, today's agenda, we're going to go over what they are, the benefits. That's not actually me doing a video, right? The benefits, key milestones in real estate education, meaning like what are the milestones in the real estate transaction where we can communicate more effectively with our students, right? When I talk to agents, it's like, okay, you go pending. What's the pending process? Meeting with the mortgage all those things, but with agents, it's different, right? I'm thinking about getting my license. I'm taking my test. I got my license. What do I do after that? Interviewing brokers, all these milestones where you can communicate more effectively. Maybe you're sending emails now, okay? But emails were introduced in 1994. You remember AOL? <laughs> yeah, some of you were like, how's he know my email address already, <laughs> right? Like you had that email sense. You had to get another CD 
in the mail, right, to get that, that online. So key milestones, implementation, we're gonna talk about AI chatbots and AI agents, which is the next iteration when you see, you know, we have the, uh, an AI chatbot company, but the next version of that is co combining the digital human avatars with the AI chatbot, so it's an imaginary person that can answer all your questions. So when you start talking about, man, we need more staff, it's really easy to hire digital people. Okay, they don't take breaks, they don't go on vacation, they can speak multiple languages and they do everything that they're told to do. Huh? Don't have to pay them. And you don't have to pay them, right? You pay them one time. Um, there's no Department of Labor Standards that are gonna investigate that. Uh, branding, marketing, and content creation. We're gonna do a little bit of an interactive workshop today because I'm gonna break you up into smaller groups so we can kind of storyboard some ideas for you to when you leave here. I'm gonna give you the tools like the, the different platforms to go to, but that's so you can do it. So you can create something, right? Leave here with a plan, and of course any Q&A. Uh, all that in 60 minutes or less. Our objective, though today, really my objective, is to help you work less. You're like, what is he talking about? I want you to work less. Why do you think that is? Say it again. Say it louder. So we can have more fun. Joy says, so we can have more fun. Remember I said make a difference in your life, period? Like, I'm, some people come here, I want you to work hard. I'm going to 10x, 100x, 1,000x your life. No, no. I'm going to allow you to do the same amount of work you're doing in less time so that you can do the things that you really want to do. Yeah. If that, if that's all, well, yes, I will teach you how your AIs can blink. If that's all you leave here with today, that's a win, folks, okay? I, I will help you. But to, yeah, you know, it's, it's, the, it's the littlest things, you know, just can it, can it blink. But work less, because when I think about working less, for me, it's quality of life, right? Um, and, and helping you to keep it real with AI. When I say keep it real with AI, right, I said part of what I do is help you be your true authentic self. Well, I don't want you to recreate this persona using artificial intelligence that isn't really you. You know, we always say like with AI, it's like make sure you have a human in the loop. Make sure it's talking in your brand voice and your brand personality, right? So, so that your clients, your students are interacting with you artificially, but it's you and your personality. Right, so they still like that. Um, I also feel like getting your time back will allow you to do the things that matter most. Eat food, okay? Maybe you like to go running with your golden doodle. With the sound of music. Or just spend more time with the family. Right? You felt it, right? That's what I want. Like, I want you to be able to spend more time with your kids because at the end of your career, nobody says, man, I wish I listed one more house, right? Or maybe I taught one more class or maybe, just maybe, you know what I got? I got to travel the world inspiring people. Now, that's great. And I can tell you in 2022, I had 123 speaking engagements in person, okay, and hundreds more than that virtually. Through the month of September, I was home for three days. I made more money than I've ever made in my entire life. But I was not happy. Because these kids don't get to see me. Right? They grow up without their father, and I don't want a digital human avatar to replace you. I want the digital human avatar to replace all the things that you don't need to do. That's how we're going to start today. Okay? Because that's what matters most. So what... You want to see these kids? 
All right, so that's Jeremiah on the left. You know him. That's my wife, Christina. She gets an award for putting up with me. All right, and then, yeah, thank you. And then my oldest, Antonio Jacob, also known as AJ or AJ Man. You've seen him on live streams with me before, multiple live streams. And then the bottom, that's Valentino. Unfortunately, he is my duplicate as far as like ask for forgiveness, not permission. So he's the one I'm going to have a lot of trouble with. But now with a lot of the AI things that I'm doing, I'm, and I'm able to be so efficient and get so much more of my time back. I'm not missing baseball games. I'm not missing the moving up ceremony. I'm not missing these things that can't be replaced. Like when you think about technology, technology is great, but it's what can you, what can you do with it? Well, that's, that's why I say change your life. That's really what we're talking about today. So what are digital avatars? There's a number of different definitions. We have a photorealistic avatar, which I showed you some examples of that, right? A high, real, highly realistic digital avatar that looks almost indistinguishable for, from a human, right? Their eyes will blink. An animated avatar, which is more like, remember the Powtoons that we've seen over the years that can explain things? Well, it's more of a cartoonish explainer uh, type, type of a, a video. A virtual assistant avatar, which are digital actors or actresses that you can choose from. And, and when we talk about communicating more effectively, we're talking dozens of languages, right? So if you're in a diverse uh, area that has English, Spanish, right? We're, I mean, we're in New York Metro, English, Spanish, uh, you know, Mandarin. Every Russian, every kind of every kind of language imaginable. Now I'm able to communicate with all my students more effectively, right? Where before it was like, man, even the board doesn't have those those types of resources to communicate like that. Customizable avatars, a digital avatar that can be customized with different appearances, styles, and attributes. You make it yourself, and then augmented reality avatars. Uh, we used to talk more about that when the metaverse was a thing. You remember that? Again, that was 2022. Everything was a thing until AI was introduced, right? Metaverse, and we talked about avatars and things like that. But it's still going to come back because it's the, the, the market's doing better with the, with the crypto. Okay, so my first tool that I want to show you is called HeyGen. Okay, HeyGen is, is my favorite of the market right now to create a digital avatar of yourself. For free, you can go there and, and I just want to give you instructions because I learned from doing things the wrong way, so I want to share that with you, uh, is you're going to go there and you're going to record a two-minute video, a two-minute video about anything. But in that two-minute video, you need to be making eye contact with the camera. And if you're like me, I talk like this, like, hey, everybody, this is Jeremiah, it's Jim it, right? I can't control my hands. You have to be like Ron Burgundy, like, what am I doing with my hands? You have to keep your hands down at your sides, look at the camera, and keep your head straight. And then for two minutes, just talk about anything but talk in a normal conversational tone. Like, hey, this is Jeremiah. Right now, I'm just talking to the camera, and I'm saying absolutely nothing because I'm creating a digital human avatar. This is very exciting for me. This is, a, and that's exactly how I recorded mine. Okay, it's, but the more vocal variety you have, the more it's like the way you speak, then it's going to be cloned that way. The more you do this, it gets cloned that way. <laughs> and I'll show you some examples where, like, it's doing hand motions that don't make sense with what I'm saying. <laughs> now it's like, you know, everybody, we wish you to come to class today. And, you know, I'm like, what the heck? What the heck's going on with this? Okay. So, hey, Jen, H E Y G E N. I blinked. You saw that? Okay. Okay, make it an AI day. No, he. What's that? Well, because he's a digital human avatar, he's not quite human yet. He wishes he could be a real kid someday. You know, it's like Pinocchio. But you see, like, it, um, again, imagine, like, you get an inquiry, somebody wants to hire you, right? Instead of me sending an email, this is, I sent this out. Instead of sending an email, somebody wanted to hire me to teach a 
uh, me, my, I have a, a three hour session, shameless plug, three hour th CE session called Me, Myself, and AI. And th thank, thank you, Jennifer. She's hired me. Um, but instead of just replying, like, let me demonstrate that I'm really great at AI by sending you an AI avatar, right? Or if I'm meeting with somebody via Zoom, guess what I can do? I can create a customized digital human avatar that's waiting for them in the reception area. Like, Dana, thank you so much for waiting in our reception area. J-Man will be with you in just a moment. We wish we could give you a digital coffee, but we can't yet. Right? So showing your personality and your humor and things like that, you got to make sure to infuse that in there. That's how we make the AI have a personality because you have a personality. You just have to share it in the text that you write. Next one. It's called puppetry. Pup. <laughs> Puppetry.com or puppetry.ai. I want to make sure. Uh, I'm, I'm going to share some things with you, and, and if you want to be my friend, what I'm going to do is, is really help you spend your money. Okay? So just, I want to warn you ahead of time. It's like 20 bucks a year, 30 bucks. You're like, Jay, I'm spending. But it, it's return on time, right? It's going to get you your time back. Now, I have a membership to this program called AppSumo. Okay, you pay $99 a month to be part of AppSumo, and what they do is when there's new software that's released, it gets released to AppSumo first because those folks are trying to raise some seed money. And so when it'll say puppetry's coming out, I have a lifetime license to it that I paid 75 bucks for. Okay, and when it finally gets released to the public, it, it might be 20 bucks a month, 30 bucks a month, something like that, but I have a lifetime license. Okay, so that's AppSumo. Puppetry. Now this one's a little bit more cartoonish, right? Again, I'll show you an example. Brenda, you didn't like her? She's a little creepy. I'm not going to lie. Right? And, and like, some of them are like unnecessarily flirtatious, right? Like she's like, hello, I'm J-Man's avatar. Like, it's not that kind of call, right? <laughs> like, why, why, why? Yeah, right? Like all of a sudden she has an OnlyFans account or something. All right, sorry. Studio DID. So my, you've all heard Marky, I'm sure, at one time talk about AI. This is Marky's favorite. This is the one that she uses. And why it's a little bit different, they're not digital human uh, avatars that are created. What you do is you actually take uh, a really great AI image or a great image, period, and that gets animated. So she, the, the avatar that you see that's like half AI, half Marky, she created that in mid-journey, and then she brought it into Studio DID, and then that animates the photo. So it's very important that you have, because the one I'm going to show you again is going to be a little bit creepy because it's not the best photo possible. Uh, you want to make sure that you have your arms at your, at your sides, your arms aren't up, and then also that your head is straight. I have a bad habit that in photos, all of a sudden somebody pulls out a camera and my head goes like this. <laughs> right? It just tilts. I don't know. So th this one I'm going to show you, my head's tilted like that, and then my mouth is moving straight up and down. It's, it's a little... <laughs> A little bit weird. You're like, what happened to him? Sorry about that. Okay. I can't even look at myself, man. I can't look at myself in the digital mirror anymore. You know? Hold on, before I play that. Uh, but here... <laughs> but this company is the leader when it comes to AI agents. Agents are what I was talking about earlier, where it's, they're combining the chatbots and, and the digital human avatars together. So at, one, at some point, it's okay now, but it's going to be better, I would say, the next six months six months to a year where somebody, it would be like having a video chat with somebody, except that somebody has all the answers, 
right? All of the answers. Think about AI combined with your knowledge base of what you know, of what your staff knows, of, what, of all the training resources you might know, and they don't forget a thing, and they always show up to work, and they're always full of energy and ready to answer questions. Okay, so Studio DID, here's their video on that. I could try. Yep. No, not really good. App, app sumo. A P P S, like sumo. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, this last one is PPO, P I P I O dot com. Uh, as far as cost, this is probably one of my favorites because, again, this is one that got a lifetime license, but if you go there, it might be, I think it's 20 bucks a month. You pick your digital actor or actress, you pick the language that you want them to speak, okay, you pick the background, and you hit go. It's that easy. You can create digital human avatars in a matter of minutes. So if you wanted it, you know, any kind of email correspondence you might be sending out, you take that email, copy, paste, say, I want this in English, I want it in Spanish, I want it in Mandarin, I want it in Russian. I want it in Greek, I want it in whatever other languages you might have members for. And then it's, it's ready, ready to go. Is there a question? Just yeah. P-I-P-I-O. Yep. P-P-O, P-P-O. Okay, here's the example of that. And this one's in Spanish. Anybody speak Spanish and know what she said? Oh. So basically she said that uh, she, gave, she, was a, she gave me a testimonial and said that I did a keynote for her, you know, for her organization. It was amazing. It was so amazing, actually, that they built a statue outside of the event <laughs> to, to commemorate it. Yeah. 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 Um, and I said, then Holly showed up and they knocked the statue down. Um, <laughs> But then I said, no, just kidding. I'm just an AI actress, and J-Man told me what to say. Right? So it's like using it in a way, satirical, adding some comedy, and then just letting them know, like, people, some people say, you know, do you, do you tell them? Are you transparent, or do you try to hide it? I'm like, no. Every chance I get, I tell them, this is AI. This is what I'm doing, and, and show them, you know, what you can do and the variety of what you can do. So benefits of using digital avatars. Anybody have any benefits so far on what we've talked about? Beside eyes blinking? Yeah. Being in more places and being able to reach more people. Right? Would you agree that the best form of communication is face to face? Right? So then video is being face to face when you can't be. And so then digital human avatars is being face to face when you can't be face to face via video. Right? It's kind of like the ne next stage. Yes. Over and over again, and trivialize every shot. 
your name? Carolyn. Carolyn. So Carolyn said, thank you for that. She said, we don't like to do video. Right? How many of you in that boat? I already know who you are. Okay, my very first session at RIA in 2014 was how to be the bomb with video. And you're still like, I'm almost there, Jay. Almost there. <laughs> Just got to find out the right camera and the microphone. And, the, you know, if the sun is right in the sky, I'm going to do some video. I'm... Right, everything. All the things, right, Michelle? But it's, but it's, now there's no excuse. Right? I always say, like, oh, I don't, you don't like how you look. It's how you look. Right? At least we'll start there. But now, if you don't like how you look, guess what? Pick a new look. Pick a new spokesperson for your organization. All you got to do is go like this. And it's done for you. Yeah, great. I was hoping somebody would say that. I mean, now it's the, it's the year of video, folks. Okay? Every year is the year of video. So benefits. Personalized content. Adapting content, providing specific support to your members, to your students. Right? Maybe you know you're teaching. Pre yeah. Thank you. Right? If you're teaching pre-licensing, you know maybe there's, there's certain parts uh, of, of that curriculum where they may struggle. You, can, you already know because you, you've taught it again and again and again and again or certain sessions that you teach. Holly? Um, that one that you said you can convert it over to a different language. Yeah. So Holly's question is, thank you. Uh, she said, do I know how accurate it is in the, in the converting of, into different languages? Uh, I would say it's very accurate depending on the dialect. You have to, some of them do have specific dialects. So like I'm from Puerto Rico. Puerto Rican Spanish is different than Cuban, is different than Dominican. I, I don't even like to talk to Spaniards because they judge me too much. You know, they're like the English, like the UK of English. I'm like, ay, Puerto Ricano. Ay, Dios, ¿qué pasa con Dios? Okay? Truly, right? Dana knows. Dana knows, absolutely. Right? And, then, and it's, no, we're not going to go there. Never mind. Get all excited. Enhanced accessibility. Again, accessibility, different languages. Maybe you have somebody that might be hearing impaired. Right? You saw the closed captioning. Somebody that can't see, but they can hear. Right? There's, there's, there's more, more than so many ways than what you're doing right now. Right? Just being able to do more and be in different places. And then what are you doing, though? You're also providing a systematic process. So you know now the message when it's delivered is the same way every time. When I talk to agents, it's like, you want to provide equal and ethical service? You either got to do video or you got to use a digital human avatar. Because if you ask me, what do I got to do to buy a home, I'm going to give you the same answer 10 different ways every time, every time I answer it, right? So that's one way to make sure it's systematic. Uh, if you're training, if you're, you're, you train brokerages or you're trying to train an, an entire company, same thing, right? We're in New York. We, had standard, we have standard op operating procedures that have to be filed, like making sure what, what are those SOPs, how are they followed so that each agent, you know, because we know that... Not just realtors don't read, but most people don't read anymore. So you send an email, anything that I would send is also going to be a uh, digital human avatar as well. Okay? So what are some key milestones in the real estate education? We talked about a little bit in the intro. Not blank page. Okay, they get their license. What else? So this is interactive where like I ask a question <laughs> and then you, you all go like, well, Jay, here's a milestone. And then I answer, what is it? Find a broker, how to interview a broker, right? What else? First deal. Never forget your first time, right? That would be a good video to make. <laughs> what else? Fill out the application, right? Making sure that you know, everything's done correctly. So every time there's a milestone or something they need to be doing in the process, think of the value add that you have for somebody. Like we all know about real estate, but new licensees know nothing except what they've seen on HGTV, right? And so explain it to them even before they come into class. Here's what to expect. Here's how long you're going to be there. Here's how, you know, better study habits. Here's how you find a, a partner to, to, to learn with. Maurice? 
owner, if you have multiple structures where you want the house to be put out a certain way, it's their way. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. So like whether you're doing it virtually or in person, right, here's what to expect. And you know exactly that that message is delivered correctly. Uh, and you could also send that same message to your instructors, right? You have instructors that are working for you. So if I do the, if you do the, the video in Lansing, how is the app How is your, how is your video app talking about you? Is that going to be the same, same post that you have on? Yeah, so Maurice's question, thank uh, what if you're wearing a t-shirt will the avatar be wearing a t-shirt yes yeah you can't really change the fit so just make sure you know it's your favorite outfit or it's not one you wear very often so then it all depends you know some of us have signature looks Latoya Right. So that is a perfect way to do it. And also, at least to make sure the instructor you already have them. So don't be, we're not just sitting here, you know, this is the That's a really good idea. I think that's a perfect Yeah, no, I, I, like, I like what you said there, Latoya, in regards to the waiting room and virtual stuff, right? So it's like, hey, you're in the waiting room. Don't worry, we'll be with you in one second. Some areas you need to have your like identification ready. But make sure you have a decent microphone. You're going to make sure you have a camera that you can connect to because you have to have your camera on at all times. You're not, you know, don't be driving. Don't be wearing nothing, okay? <laughs> if you got to go potty, you can turn your camera off, but that's the only time. And don't forget to turn your camera off, please. There are some things we can't unsee from the Zoom world. Uh, Joe. It's always one. No, not yet. Not yet. That's the honest answer. Uh, I, I would imagine at some point there will be. Uh, I think, you know, when we start combining Web 3.0 and that, that there's going to be an NFT that verifies my identity, like a certificate of authenticity that is actually me, right? That this message, this video came from me because you could clone me and say, hey, guess what? Everybody's got off of work today and then nobody shows up to the office. And it was a, your digital avatar. So for you, after this, it's like going through and saying, okay, licensing, post-licensing, becoming a broker, there's CE requirements, right? Okay, you just took your implicit bias training, but now you also have to do this. After to do that, they get another video. After to do that, they get another one, right? Because in New York State, we have so many things that are required. They think it's just, you know, 22 and a half hours, but it's very specific of what they have to take. And they don't know. And then we have agents that were grandfathered in that aren't anymore that have to take CE credit now. And they have no clue. Okay. <laughs> Not, well, yeah, they're like, I haven't taken CE in 23 years. I don't know why I have to. And I'm like, what? Say what? Say that again? Hold on, I have a digital avatar that's gonna respond to that one, because that's just ridiculous. <laughs> Okay, so implementing avatars into your curriculum, assessing your needs, evaluating your current curriculum, and then saying, you know, where are some areas where digital avatars, right? If you're doing on-demand, if you have an LMS as part of, part of your learning platform, like, how can we enhance that? Is it just text on the screen? Uh, you know, can we add, a, like, a, just a video, you know, maybe just explaining a little bit of part of the process or explaining what the test is or explaining some kind of, you know, case study or something like that? You know, how can we make it better for the student, better for the learning process, right? Evaluating it that way, going through everything that you, that you have. And I understand that it's gonna take some time, it's gonna take some work, but nothing work, worth doing is easy, right? It's simple, I didn't say it would be easy, right? Going through so that once you do this, it's a lot of uh, work up front, but you're gonna be syndicating and, and, and leveraging your, your time and your resources that way. So choosing the right platform, I've given you some options today. 
development content and scenarios. We're going to work through that in a little bit. Uh, create engaging content and learning scenarios that leverage the capabilities of the digital avatars. Uh, train your instructors. Right? For those of you that do have schools or your professional development director, right? And you're like, like I heard, right? right? We have like, we give them one little thing. This is what you got to read. And they're like, yeah, everybody, uh, let's get to, I don't have time for this. I have content that I have to get through. Okay, so training your instructors the right way on how to effectively utilize the, the, the avatars in their, in their teaching methods. Uh, monitor and iterate, right? Continuously gather feedback. There is going to be pushback from people in the beginning because it's new. Even though it's, we're almost two years now into this AI journey. In November, it's going to be two years. Two years. There's over a billion monthly visits to open AI. Okay, two years. Think about it. And then case study, ABC Real Estate Academy. Obviously, um, I, made up, I made that up because there isn't an ABC Real Estate Academy. But incorporating AI chatbots and agents. Okay, again, I'm using him so that I don't actually have to explain it. But if you scan that QR code, that's going to take you to a free guy. But really, there's a great sponsor <laughs> of big brain chatbots. But the reason why it's better, like think about all the time that staff spends answering, do you have parking? Is there lunch? How long does the class take? Right? All of these things that really don't need to be answered by somebody that's that important. And then the staff can dedicate their time to adding value to the member experience. Right? And it, each one is specifically trained on, on your knowledge base, meaning your state, your area. What are the CE requirements? When is your next class? All of the things. Right? The event bot, that's just the tip of the iceberg of what we do or what an AI chatbot can do. Because uh, you do events, and obviously that would be part of it, but it's all the other things that take up staff time. Once you have that training, and why I feel like the chatbots are better now than the actual agents that I showed you, because the agents, when you train them, there's only five pieces of content that you can train them on right now, those AI agents. The, the AI chatbots, it's almost unlimited, right? You have vendor resources, you have training, tech, I see your hand, uh, training tech support from your vendors, Right, Matrix, Supra, all of them. We get, those videos can be, they're transcribed on the back end. They're shared with the AI chatbot. It learns everything that's in the video. So you, your MLS participants are like, oh, I can't get on. Whatever they want to say. Perfect. Here's a, you know, a video from Matrix that can help you with that. And actually, if you have any other stupid questions, Here's, the, here's our answer bot. Here's our member service bot, whatever you want to call it. Okay? And, and just really, because now you, you want to be the choice for them as the MLSs and as boards are combining and sharing services. The one that's the first one to put their flag in the ground and say, we got AI, everything. Right? There's the, they're the one that's everybody going to go to. So, question here, Joyce. Is there a time limit? Is there a time limit on the length of time that they will talk? That's a great question. Uh, I would say there has to be. I haven't reached it, but I've done them as long as 10 minutes. Uh, I think just like if I was creating video myself, I wouldn't do anything that was more than 10 minutes. When you look at YouTube and you look at the analytics, everything drops off after that. right? If you're doing learning modules, LMS, and those kinds of things, same thing. It's like you, you take, uh, I just recorded something for WebCE. It was a three-hour class. The hardest part for me was taking that three-hour class, and I had to break it up into 10-minute chunks. Right? And I'm like, who pauses after 10 minutes in a session? Right? So I had to rethink, rethink the process. But excellent question. It does do text to yeah. So does it do text to speech? Yes, it does. Um, some of them even do. This is a great question. I'm glad you asked that. Even do uh, voice to speech. So I could, if I have a, a decent mic, I could record what I want it to say, and then it could take my voice and make it the voice of the avatar, or take my voice and make it the voice that I chose for the avatar, but the same kind of vocal variety, as if I spoke it. Or if I have an audio file, I have to go to If you had, yes, if, so if you had an audio file and you wanted to up, 
man, great questions. I'm glad you're here. See, I knew I put you in the front row for a reason. Let me give you a round of applause. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, yeah, so if you have existing content, but, but what I might do is I would take that audio, I would transcribe it, I'd, I'd bring it into AI and say, how can we make this better? And then redo it. Okay, because one of my favorite sayings is progress, not perfection. You have content you've created. I have a lot of content I've created too. I'm always like, how can I improve this? How can I make it better? Because I know I'm not perfect, and I know that the AI can think 125,000 times faster than I can and has all the PhDs. All of them. Okay? Do you have another one? Keep on, keep them coming. And I see you one second. Yeah. Um, you have a recommendation for a website or something that has to close. Utilize AI to find out what to do. Utilize AI. Shh. Seriously, integrate the chat boxes. They haven't learned manners yet. All right, go ahead. Do you have a website you would recommend? So do I have a website for AI voice generation? Yes, it's 11labs.com. By far the best, I feel like, in this market. Uh, I think the basic membership's like nine, right? It's like nine bucks a month. And it gives you up to 10 voices. So like when I, I quite honestly, I used to pay somebody on Fiverr 50 to 100 bucks to do professional voiceovers for like videos that I would make or intros that I would do for sessions. And now I go to AI, fall free, my favorite F word, right? I go there and I just type the script and I pick movie, movie trailer voice. That's my go-to guy, right? And then I, there's, I have uh, a Spanish speaker in there. I have, I have 100 different. Yes. So will it take your voice and then create it? Yeah. So I could take my voice and say I want it to be a valley girl. And then and we're like, hey, everybody. I, I can't even do an impersonation because I don't. 11labs.com, 11 like the number, labs, L-A-B-S, dot com. Okay, branding, marketing, and content creation. How many of you think you need to be creating more content on social media and everywhere else? Abs Let's try this. Everybody raise your hand. Okay, then I ask the question. How many of you think you need more content? Yes, the answer is yes, right? And so now it's like you could pay somebody who's, 18 to 25 years old that has a good mind for content creation and say, we want this person to be the spokesperson for our board. I want this person to be the spokesperson for my real estate business. I want this person to be the spokesperson for my speaking business, for our, you know, whatever you want it to be. You pick them. This is going to be, and then you just create content, create content, create content, create content. Okay. Whether it's an explainer video, whether it's, you know, things that agents are wondering about, you know, maybe in regards to a settlement or what to say. You could take two avatars and do a role play scenario. Right? Yeah, thank you, I have a few, and um, Branding, marketing, and content creation. So, establishing a strong brand identity, it's, it's, right, we talk about top of mind awareness. They have to keep seeing you, and seeing you, and seeing you, or your brand, or your spokesperson, if you can't create it. Uh, Anatomy of a content creator looks a little bit like this. Okay, keeping your sanity, shoulders carry the weight of responsibilities, right hand replies to DM or comments, eyes looks for new, ide new ideas and opportunities, heart show empathy for your audience, back, constantly watch, watch your back for changes, left hand design and record content. However, uh, if you want a person, um, we use somebody, a virtual assistant overseas, you know, which, which is very popular, but if you want to hire in the United States, there's still virtual uh, assistants for 12 bucks an hour. Okay, I have somebody that works for me from the Philippines from 9 p.m. to 2 a.m. their time to work 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. our time. And she works for 550 an hour, and I can tell you she does a better job than somebody I paid $20 an hour to that sat in my office all day. She understands social media better. She understands, you know, she... To be candid, she created this presentation for me. Okay, I did the raw version. I'm like, here's everything. Here's my outline. She's like, it's done. And I went in and I made some changes and added some video. Okay. 
Workshop time. We have like 13 minutes, right? Roughly? Perfect. All right, so here's what I want you to do. Just uh, into groups of, I'm going to count it out. Ready? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two. Three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Don't ask me your number. Four, one, two, three. Okay. Group one's going to meet over here. Group two over there. Group three over here. Group four over here. And then I'm going to tell you what we're going to do. Four over here. Over here. Three over here. Two. Okay, two. One over here. I have an AI music generator. Talk to me after. Yeah. Okay. All right. If you can hear my voice, clap one time. Thank you. All right. So here's what I'd like you to do. In your group, I want you to storyboard. If you don't know what storyboarding is, it's telling a story scene by scene. So you describe the scene. What will your avatar say in that scene? And then go to the next one. We're trying to solve a problem or a communication related thing or even content creation for real estate agents. Like you communicating with your agents or people that might come to the school, right? So I want you to figure out a problem that your avatar is going to solve. Is it communicating effectively for every class? Is it training them on something? Okay, we're going to storyboard this out. Like it says there, uh, here's your, your template scene number what's said in that scene, and then any additional notes, and then that's how you would build it when you build your avatar, okay? Just give you a few, five minutes on this. Hi. Yeah, figure out a problem or, or something that you wanna solve or communicate, and I want you to storyboard it. The template's up on the, up on the screen here. Scene by scene, what's the scene? What are they going to say in that scene and any additional notes? And then that's how we're going to, or how you will build it out after this, this class with an avatar. Okay. Do you have, do you have everybody here? What's the problem? Oh, just students filling out their correct profile information and expectations okay. for the course. Because okay. if they don't do it right there. Perfect. So service. step one is go to that website, right? Wherever they got to go to fill it out. So this is your this is your storyboard template. Step one is make sure you go to realestateagentofthefuture.com. Yeah. You'll write it down if you can hear what we're saying. Yeah, I've got to be able to hear you, Chris. I didn't catch all of the problems. We need an avatar to help us create this. Use your problem, what you said about the instructors. What is it? My broker um, presentation. Fire broker presentation? Yeah. Okay, so step one is defining your unique value. Defining value proposition. All right. You might think I do this for a living or something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so the most the most common path is five questions. What are the most 
most of the time I take, how do I get my license? No, then you take these courses. Students, yep. this is what you expect. We expect you to, when you come to class, read the unit. Okay. And after we give it the lecture, we'll take the quiz. So at the think, end of the think book. even before that. Step one, before they get there, what are some problems? Uh, well, they need to the how to get there? Yeah, that's exactly what we're saying. Right. Yeah. yeah. How to get there? Is there parking? Is there food? How long will you time, be there? Time. time. Yeah. What to bring to class? But you had to think of like each phase, like before they even get to your to the school, what do, what do they need to know? Because you got to break it down to its simplest form, so that there isn't any any friction at all throughout the process, right? So like they got there on time, they knew that there was going to be traffic, they knew that there was construction down the street or whatever else, right? All those things help make the process smoother, so that you have a better end user experience. Okay, but you got three minutes, so. Y'all done? Oh, amen. And how to find it. All right, you got one minute. Well, you don't have to just addition. No, I stole it from somewhere over there. Um, yeah, absolutely. Types of agency. What's on the form? That's what he means. Yeah. All right, 30 seconds. 20. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. All right. Shh. This thing is turned down way down. All right, so we don't have a lot of time to share all of the things, but I want this group over here to share because I did I did over here what they were doing. But Here's what I want you to do. Hopefully you all took notes or at least know kind of the general concept of what you were discussing in the group. Each scene, what I would then do is take that, bring it into AI and say, help me to write a script for this scene where, and it'll write a better script than what you just wrote. I promise, because it'll think of things. Over here, they were talking about uh, exclusive buyer representation. Is that something that you're hearing often? Yes, right? So what was the first step, Maurice? Don't know. <laughs> He's like, I'm president. There's people. There's the people for that. Okay, our first step was introduction, right? And then our next, we find the value, our value proposition. Uh, next was our uh, different types of HC agreements. That was, yeah. Okay. And then agent disclosures and explain the buyer agreement. Yeah, excellent. Let's give them a round of applause, please.
And so here's what I want you to think. Again, going a little bit further, going a little bit deeper, I, I might take my exclusive right to represent form that you're using in your area, your state, take that, upload it into chat GPT and say, what questions might a buyer have about this form? Because it's going to go, right? That's the sound of like somebody in the background typing all this stuff. Exactly right. I always think of the cat meme like this. Okay. So th each phase of the process, that's what I want you to do because it will write a script for you. Okay. And then you might go, man, that's way too much though. We'll make it more concise, right? Rewrite this script so that's a 30 second script for a digital human avatar. It's that simple. Okay. I would ask you to go back to your seats, but we don't have a lot of time. So just stay where you are and keep looking at me. Okay. Uh, we did the share and feedback. Now, I'm going to finish right on time. Are there any questions about what we've discussed so far? And I'll, and I'll say after and be in the hallway if, if there's any additional questions. Joe. Could you, uh, say you create all this stuff for your association. I'm, I'm thinking of doing videos on President-elect, so next year. The following year, if we wanted to change the face, could I have the incoming person? I swap out my face with Sorry, my AI was talking. So the question is, let's say he's, he's president currently, he wants to create a bunch of content. The next year, could that content then be recreated with a different face? Uh, the short answer would be yes, but what I would do is create a folder that has all the scripts and say, you know, video one made by avatar, video two, video three, video three and then just recreate it that way because it might take an afternoon to do what would have taken months previously uh, with, with other, other people in that position. Okay? Yes, Ann? Uh, over here, they, it was getting to the board on time or... Getting, get, well, getting to orientation in class on time. Over here, what was your group? Yeah, correctly completing their, pro sometimes it's the simplest things, right? You got people calling you like, what's my nerd's ID? Where do I find this? And then Ann, what was your group? What did you have? Okay, so licensee. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. I'm going to kind of go wah, wah, to this. I mean, I think it's great, but maybe being a little old school is, you know, you're, you're losing a lot Custom. of, you know, that relationship one-on-one -on -one with the chat GPT and the digital avatar. Yeah, so the comment is, and I get this a lot, we're, we're losing that relationship. Yeah, I know. We're losing, Jeff was like, cut it, hook, got the hook. <laughs> the class is done, we're just answering questions now. You're losing that relationship there, and I thought that in the beginning, but it's like, what matters most to the student? Because at 11 o'clock at night, when I have a question, I don't really want to talk to me. I just want my question answered. Today's modern consumer wants answers now. They want you to predict it and have it on demand. Now, could you still have personalized videos? Of course. Okay, so I think it's a combination of both is the yeah. ultimate answer. I, I okay? Good, good. Yeah. Yeah, I've heard that question before. All right, so we're done. Like, give yourselves a round of applause, please. And... If you want to stick around, I'm going to fly the drone, and, and we're all just going to do the robot. Okay? I feel like that might be fun. So just right here in this, this general section. You're welcome. Thank you, man. <laughs> All right. This is crazy. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah, it is. I'm thinking it's unlimited what you can do. Were you going to be in the front row with me? No. Come on, man. You can do that fun RPAC video, but you want to do a robot video with me? Call me or email you? Text me. Text you. Okay, cool. You're probably in the theme. The I don't know if I am. Hold on, I'll give you my curve.
they're doing a children's book with one of my little songs, and I would like to have a get recorded. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, my pleasure. Sticking around for video? Yeah. All right. Come on, John. You, you come. Come on, Nate. I know you're down. Right around here. Right around here. Yeah. Jill, you in? Jill, don't sneak away. We're not really dancing. It's just a robot. Anybody can do this. All right. All right. Come on, Nate. Lacey. Come on, Holly. Come on, Dana. Oh, shit. Hold on. Got all mad at me. I never seen that before. Okay, you ready? Mr. Roboto, just go like this. Okay. Redo, redo. You're ready. There we go. Ready? Mr. Roboto. At la bada lo. No, no, I won't show it to anybody. It'll just go on social media where everybody will see it. Yeah. Thank you, man. That's cool, bro.